and it takes me a great many working days, as many as 40 or 50 working days per winter. This roof collects more snow than any other in the park. Instead of using gravity to remove the compacted snow, Jeff has to rely on sweat and toil. But he's perfected his own methodical, precision, labor-saving technique. Ah. Well, I try to cut the blocks large enough so that they be stable when I move them across the roof, but not so large that I can't move them. On this particular building, this year there'll be somewhere in the order of 3,000 blocks of snow. So I always reason that if I could save just one or two percent of the effort that it takes to move each block, that would be one or two percent times 3,000. That's why I work in this checkerboard pattern and move all the blocks that I just cut. And I don't have to go back and forth between the saw and the shovel that often. I suppose in some ways, analogous to uh, Yellowstone's wildlife in the winter, where they have to be so mindful of their energy equation, they, they cannot consistently expend more energy than they take in. And if they do, it's the end of the line. Fifty days spent alone on a roof gives Jeff a lot of time to just think. Sometimes I find my imagination runs away with me. I think about how this snow not very long ago was warm seawater in the South Pacific Ocean. In just oh, three or four months, it'll be water vapor or liquid water seeping into the earth here in Yellowstone or flowing down the Yellowstone River. Jeff's snow clearing work allows him to be in the most beautiful parts of the park when no one else is around. And I think everybody appreciates uh, a little bit of solitude. I guess that's part of the reason I do the work that I do and spend as much time as I can in the park in the winter. Just occasionally it just seems to me that I'm the only person for miles around. And that's a special feeling, especially in the uh, early 21st century. I know that my parents first brought me here when I was six months old. Uh, and essentially, I've spent my entire adult life here in Yellowstone. I don't know if I believe in destiny in a general sense, but I do believe that it was my destiny to come here and to spend most of my life here. Because of the work I do in the winter here, I've had a, a special opportunity, I think, to make empirical observations about uh, the way things have gone in terms of winter weather in Yellowstone. Uh, I don't think there's any question that things are warmer and drier overall than they were when I first got here. Now, I've always been dreading the day when I got too old to do this, but over the last 10 years or so, it seemed that maybe Yellowstone would run out of snow before I got too old to move it. There's good snow this year, so I certainly hope it continues. Certainly hope there's snow to move in Yellowstone long after I'm not able to do it anymore. We'll see, I guess. I like the challenge when I first climb up onto the roof and take that first block of snow off. And then when I take the last block off a roof, I certainly feel a sense of satisfaction. I also immediately start thinking about next season when I'll be able to do the same building again. It will still always be my special place.